What up, interwebs? It's the DMC, and in this first episode of Inside the DMC Studio, we're going to take a closer look at my church diorama that I made for the third round of the ACBA World Championship Tournament. Now, if you haven't seen that video, do so now because you'll have no idea why there's random paint splattered all over the floor. All right, good, thanks. Okay, so I just wanted to give you guys a closer look at this diorama, give you a little bit of insight in my thought process. Where did I get this idea from? Basically, the theme of the round was a defeated hero. Um, so I was thinking, you know, maybe probably everybody's gonna do, you know, a hero beaten up uh, on the brink of death, perhaps. So I just wanna do something different. So I was racking my brains and the thing that popped out to me was this cover here of Daredevil with a fallen Karen Page. Basically, this is the scene where I where I take this diorama from, where he's holding the dead Karen Page. See here, we got the podium here, we got the crucifix inside an archway, at the pews, stained glass windows. So try to copy this as best as I could. We've got blood all over the floor. Because if you read this storyline, it's a big massacre inside the church. And it's again, this is from the Guardian Devil storyline from Daredevil. As you can see here, okay, you got the, the Jesus piece there, the crucifix, because you can't have a Catholic church without a crucifix. It's all about authenticity. Got a little rug I put there to spruce it up. Here's a little podium I made. Something real quick, nothing too fancy because I didn't like the one that was in the book because it was some sort of two-tiered podium. I thought it looked kind of weird building that. Uh, gave it a very light dry brush just to try to bring out a few details. Nothing too fancy there. All right, we've got our pews here which I just made from that cheap Dollar Tree uh, foam. Okay, I thought about using the balsa wood and then I figured that would just probably take too long cutting and whatnot, though it would look good stained. I said I forget it because this is what I had available. I just didn't really want to buy anymore. But I think it came out pretty good, as you can see here with the black wash first and then just dry brushing layers and layers of this brown here, which I thought came out pretty good it gives you that feel of old of old wood I think so not too bad not too bad As you can see here All right. I think it came out pretty good okay and have the stained glass windows here alright let's get you a closer look at those windows don't hate me because I didn't make them I actually bought them. Yes. I figured it was just gonna take too long to do what I wanted. I wanted to do a really detailed um, window, but I figured it's not gonna come up in the video that much. You're not really gonna see them, so why waste the time when I could be working on other things? And then as you can see here, I also have one on the other side. So don't hate me too much that I didn't make it by all by scratch. This is just something I found at a party supply store, and I thought this would have was great. Well, I don't have to save a little bit of time, and we're set. Uh, let's see. Let's go in. Let's bring in closer here. See the detail on the bricks there. Oh, if everybody knows me, they know I hate doing bricks. And I made these bricks smaller than I usually make them because the church in that comic, they seem to be smaller. And if you've gone to church, and some of the older buildings do have smaller looking bricks. So again, to go with that authenticity, I decided to make smaller bricks and boy they were a pain. 
Okay, and let's show you. Let's show you this right here, because it's because the DMC usually fucks up every once in a while. But don't tell anybody. Uh, usually, you know, sometimes you're cutting and your razor gets stuck a little bit, so you get little snags. What I usually do is I actually grab that snag and make it bigger. Okay, I make it bigger so and make it look like the bricks messed up. So I told, so it doesn't look like I totally screwed up. It looks like I actually meant to do that. All right, let's see. I know I screwed up here. Should, you know, because everybody likes to see when you screw up, right? So if you can look at the top there, it doesn't match up. It's because I was using, a, I was trying a new technique of using a foam a hot wire foam cutter so to give me that edge because I was trying to do it with the blade and it just wasn't working out so I said hey let's try this new technique that I hear people have been using see what happens and as you can tell fucked up again so I try to put a little piece back in there just so a lot of light doesn't shine through the window all right let's see the top here as you can see here, let's see, yeah, a key few fuck ups. As you can see there, yeah, well, you know, stuff happens. All right, and with that hot foam uh, wire cutter, what happens is since you are melting the foam, you're going to get a little gap. So I couldn't use the piece that I cut out because they left too much of a gap. Probably, I'd say maybe a quarter, quarter inch of a gap. Uh, enough to where the light would shine through. You know, I tried to get the bricks to line up. I said, well, maybe I could put something on the side. You know, maybe a piece of black, uh, foam, uh, I'm sorry, foam, um, cardboard or something just to try to block out the light and said no that's not gonna work the judges are probably gonna get me on that so I said oh what the hell so I cut <laughs> I cut a brand new piece of foam uh, and did more brickwork and basically I just glued it to the side um, everything has magnets pretty much uh, this got magnets magnets up there magnets over there on the floor um, Oh, we didn't go over that little guy right there. Let's see, let me get over there here. Is this little step here that we made. All right, these little steps, I think they came out pretty good. Again, this is what I use a hot foam wire cutter for. Let's see, Did you see, yeah, didn't came out too smooth. No problem, it came out pretty good when we laid it down. Uh, and again, I tried a new technique where I just try to put glue around here just to just to seal that in and the paint wasn't adhering to the glue so much. It was leaving little cracks. So what I did is use caulking and I did that all the way around, waited until it dried, painted it, and I think it came out pretty, pretty smooth. It looked pretty good to me. So that's a new technique. Uh, I'll be trying now is using more cock ing on my dioramas just to try to get different textures and whatnot. So again, this isn't you know this isn't anything really you haven't seen before. You got brick work. You got this tile work here. You know I'm not gonna teach you tell you how to make it because I'm sure you guys already know how to do it. Um, the blood here is just simple, old painting technique. Just dip your paintbrush and just start giving a little flick, just all flick of the wrist. And that's what I did. It's all dry now. In the, side, in the video, it, came, it looks really good, I think. It's still pretty wet, but now it's all been dried. So I could just paint over it and cover it all up, which was my plan before. It was just to put paint all over the place and then I was just going to repaint it if I want to use this diorama again, which I may or may not. Um, I'll probably end up 
selling it if you're interested in it you know let me know and maybe we can work something out um, it's a pretty big diorama this is 24 inches the base is 24 inches this is I believe is around what is it, 18 perhaps so this is a this is a pretty big diorama you know uh, with the brickwork being so small too you could probably use it as a mini mates diorama too um, since it is a church or you know you could use it for something else is you can use your walking dead minis on this perhaps who knows um so that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed this video um give you a little insight in my thought process in making it hopefully i get some positive responses on here if i do you know i'll make more uh, I have some more commissions in the pipeline, so I'll go over those with you if you like. I have an Asian-themed one, a, um, a Star Wars-themed one, and your patented destroyed environment uh, diorama that are in the works. So if you guys want to see those, let me know. I'll make a video. You know, Like it. Subscribe. Leave a comment, please. Uh, love feedback. Um, so, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.